So I've just found Ben working on the 4100. What are you up to? Uh, well, we were about to shoot our first video of setting up and commissioning the 6100, um, which we were very excited about. We thought that was going to be an easy first video. Uh, the 4100, which has been left on for the last week since we last were shooting in here, uh, has just woken itself up and it's come up with a new notice. And we thought, oh, that's interesting. So we thought, we'll see what that says. And this can be our new first video. And if we click on it, it says, you can now update to the latest firmware. So this means that the printer has detected, uh, it's set up wirelessly in the studio at the moment. Um, we have put a cable in, but it's currently uh, set up to the wireless router. It has detected from the Canon website that a new update is available for the firmware, um, which is important that you do this. This is the internal uh, operating system within the printer. And what Canon do periodically is make improvements. Uh, so as they realize things like print heads and how well they perform, they can make adjustments within the printer itself. So it's always really key that you upgrade to the latest version of the firmware so that the heads you're putting in, uh, it, it all just works that much better. Um, so we're just literally gonna click on it and see what it does. We haven't done this before. So I've just pushed the touch screen and it now says the firmware update is available. Do you want to update now? Yes, please. Uh, update takes time. Do not turn off the device or disconnect from the internet until the update is complete. After the update, the previous version cannot be restored. So I'm just gonna put start update. As you can see, it says it's downloading. Uh, we're not sure how big the update is or how long this bit will take, especially because it's over wireless. Um, we would probably recommend doing it cabled. Um, so you've mm. got a guaranteed yeah connection the whole time just in case you have a problem with the wireless but our wireless is is fairly uh, stable here we have a uh, a mesh system that we've put in place so that it's uh, it's consistent everywhere you go and there aren't access points that it can drop out on uh, so as you can see it's about halfway through now as it's downloading the update so it's picked this up automatically from the canon servers and it will periodically check to see if it needs updating and has warned us that it does. Uh, most of the time, uh, this is a, a, a sort of rare occasion, uh, but it's good to know that they've obviously found some updates. Is it, do you, do you think it's um, partly if they discover like bugs? I mean, yeah, I, I, bugs I hate gremlins. the word talking about it, but yeah, you know. Bugs or gremlins in the system. Every good manufacturer has them, doesn't it? It's the same with, uh, you know, Apple, Microsoft, there are constant security updates and things like that where they, you know, discover things that aren't mm. quite right or aren't perfect. And a lot mm. of the time, this is so that the latest manufacturing, so you've got to think these boxes are probably made in a factory. They then are stored in a warehouse. They go on containers all over the world. So this printer is regioned for EMEA, I would have thought. Mm. It's why when you open the box, you have a European plug and a normal three pin British plug. And I've never understood. It's so funny. It's such a waste of plastic. If they're, I is, understand from it's Europe, one, but it's one it's of those one things, box, isn't it? Isn't it? It's one box that goes to all of the countries in Europe. Yeah. So I imagine that's. I'm not sure if that's the entire right. EU 27 or 28, 27 yeah. now. Is it yeah. really? Um, and so it's the same printer for all of those regions. Yeah. Um, so the same ink cartridges, the same print head. You just set the language when you set the printer up. We'll be showing you that in our next video. Um, so it's it's that. So when they manufacture this box, might have been um, brand new, but it could have been manufactured maybe up to a year ago. And it's obviously been in a warehouse, been in a container, been on the water, been through uh, several different cannons, uh, stock, stockists, warehouses before it ends up at distribution, before it ends up at us, uh, and comes out of the box. So this is why one of the first things it does will update its firmware when you turn it on. Um, this one is now probably six weeks old since we turned it on, eight weeks old maybe, and it's just found its first update. So it's currently now doing the update, as you can see. It's already halfway through, so it's not a particularly long job. It's only been a couple of minutes so far. And this means that when they're currently manufacturing print heads, so the circuitry and the components within the print head will be manufactured to the latest version of the firmware. So you might get better longevity out of it. You won't get any difference necessarily in the print quality and stuff. It's still the same head, but you might get a bit more um, life out of mm. the head. So it's mm. always really important that you're mm. up to date with firmware.
The old systems used to, uh, you had to update it by USB or? Yeah, you had to, you would would download a a program um, that you download onto your Mac uh, or PC and you'd run the updater. Um, You could do that over network or via USB, but it'd have to be done through a little update program. Whereas you can see this is doing it completely, if you like, autonomously Mm. um, with no input from us with the exception of telling it that Mm. yes we're happy for it to update the firmware and that's what makes it much easier isn't it um, well, there's, the there's, no, printer, it's there's no thinking about easier. it now. I mean, most people wouldn't have known about the no. update. We do put it in some of our technical bulletins and things and mm. encourage people to check for it, but nobody does until there's a problem. Uh, nobody intends to look for these things, whereas the new generation of pro printers, it's built in and it's automatically looking for it. Um, and as you can see, it's now finished this update. It's turning off um, and will probably turn itself back on again. Hopefully. <laughs> That's it, and that, if you saw the orange light in the top of the picture, that was a, if you like, it's like a warning light. It tells you that there's something that, and there you go, it's restarted, there's something that the printer wants to tell you about, be it a low ink, um, a low capacity left in your waste ink cartridge, and this, there was a message which said that we can update our firmware. Mm. And as you can now see, it says version 1.07, which was the one, so that update has gone through successfully. And we started recording six minutes and 20 seconds ago. So it, it's not taking it's a long time. And, and that is really important. I said that's over, over wireless, which I would probably be a little nervous about usually, but technology is mm. improving all the time. You probably wouldn't want a power cut right now, no. especially when it's doing a firmware update. Um, that's one of the, I always get worried when I'm updating my phone or, in the olden days, you used to do an update and if the power ever went, they used to call it bricking, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'd brick be, your phone or you'd brick yeah, it, whatever it, your laptop. It was, it it's all it was good for at the yeah, end, of, at the end of the update. But this would be quite a big brick. Um, um, so there you go. That's how easy it is to update the firmware on the new Canon Pro printers. Um, it was, what, three, four yeah. touches Brilliant. of the touch screen. Um, it's done, turned itself off, turned itself back on again and is update successful. I'm gonna hit okay. And there you go, ready to print. Fantastic. Thanks, Ben. No worries.